last weekend we were supposed to be getting 8 to 12 inches of snow today. Then on Monday they dropped the amount of snow we were supposed to get to 4 to 8 inches. And then we were under a winter storm watch yesterday, still thinking we'd get about three to five inches. And as you all see, we are now under a winter weather advisory. I will say that. Uh, and we are just getting sleep right now. And we expect it will probably turn to rain a little bit later. And we'll just have a rain event here in Spotsylvania, Virginia. Now I could get icy later when the sun goes down and if the temperatures drop uh, and it could turn to snow but I don't have high expectations for that and ice worries me you guys to be honest uh, I never like ice and we get a lot of ice around here some well some years we've have haven't we gotten ice uh, over snow we always seem to be on the on the line you know between rain ice or snow. Now there are years we'll get, you know, stomped on with snow. But to all of you who are living north of us here in Spotsylvania, hunker down, stay safe. Y'all are getting slammed, I think. <laughs> so anyway, Chris and I are on our way out for our daily lunch here. And uh, I think we're going to go to Longhorn today. They have a lovely soup and salad combo. This is where I get the lobster and shrimp uh, chowder. And it's really good with a, with a salad. So we're going to do that. And then I'm going to come back to the house. And I'm going to take the suggestion of one of you guys who suggested that, uh, Miss Margie, I think, that suggested that I give you guys my top 10 picks for craft, you know, for what a crafter might like to find in their stocking. So I'll do that when I get back home so I can, you know, show you what I have. And that will be our Vlogmas for this Wednesday. Oh my goodness. But anyway, I'll be back in a little while. Just like a snap of a finger for you guys. <laughs> well, we just finished lunch, had a lovely lunch. Now we're headed on Route 1 back to a big shopping center we have here in town that you've been hearing me speak about. It's called Central Park. Later in the week in a Vlogmas, I'm going to tell you guys what I'm going to be doing to the kitchen table and the island. And I need to run into and that to look for a tablecloth. And I love and that with their tablecloths because they're not expensive at all.
Okie dokie, here we come up on our driveway. And you can see a little bit of snow in our yard. We have a little bit. You know, we'll take it. Okie dokie everybody, I'm here at home sitting at my dining room table and as you can see it's still kind of doing the same thing out, just kind of sleeting and a little bit of rain and you know a little bit of, of it is laying on the grass but not a lot, not a lot you guys. But I'll tell you what it is doing, it is sure making my Christmas trees and everything look so pretty. I've got my Christmas lights on, look at that tree, look how pretty that looks. Now just imagine if there was snow falling behind that window. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Ugh, you know, but no, no snow here. I just talked to my dad on the phone who's getting hammered there where he lives, which is north of us in Maryland. And uh, he did get three holes of golf in this morning though. <laughs> so that's good. That's the way he likes to get his exercise in, you know, he plays golf. He says, I, I don't even worry. He said, exercising is so much better to do with a golf club in your hand. <laughs> That's the way he puts it. Sorry, I'm all wrapped up here. So I'm coming back here to do what one of you guys, Miss Margie, had given me an idea to do. And that is to give you my top 10, and maybe a few more than 10, uh, crafting stocking stuffers. Or what a crafter would like, a crafter's stocking stuffers. So I have some stuff gathered in here and I do want to get right into it because, you know, I want to tell you about all of this. So let's get started here. I also have one question that I'm going to answer. My computer just turned off. So here we go. Okay, I have them listed here, but then I have some other things picked out that I want to show you. Uh, first thing I have on my list is a nice pair of scissors. Now, I don't know that my scissors are all that nice. We get them in a three pack. They're Fiskar, no, these are Scotch. These are Scotch scissors. And they come in a three pack from our BJ's, which is kind of like a Costco. And sometimes there are two of this size and one a little smaller. I love these scissors. And I probably go through a pair of scissors every mm, four to six months, I would say, depending on how much crafting I've done, depending on how much ribbon I've cut, you know, I love these scissors. As I said, they're not expensive, but they're spiffy, diffy, wonderful. Also, before I get into this too much, please check in my Amazon storefront, uh, and I will try to link in, in away from the storefront link. Of, uh, in addition to that, I'm going to make a new idea list with everything that I've spoken about here in this video unless I can't find it, which I know there's one thing I cannot find, but I'll try to find something similar to it. So do check that out if you're interested in any of these. I don't know how shipping is on Amazon. I'll try to only pick off Amazon Prime. Hopefully, if you want to order some of this stuff up for a crafter in your family, you'll have time to do so. I'm trying to get this up today though, huh? Okay. All right. So scissors was the first thing on my list. A nice pair of scissors or any pair of sharper scissors. Get your, Make sure they're sharp. So, okay, number two, I have glue dots. Danielle, De Danielle over there, Danielle's decor put me on to glue dots, pop-up glue dots. Oh, I don't even know, about a year ago now. And I don't know how I crafted without them before. Honest to Pete, I do not know. You can find these in my Amazon shop. If you don't shop Amazon, you can find them in your local Hobby Lobby probably, uh, or in Michael's, I'm sure, probably in the scrapbooking department. These say that these are uh, permanent. You can see up there in the purple up here, permanent, but I can pick them off. I don't feel like they're permanent, and I, but I feel like these give a better seal than the not so permanent. So I like these better. These are my choice. And they come on a, I actually got myself a new box. I was almost out. They come on a, uh, roll like that and then you can see them there 
and you just simply peel it off and put it on the bottom of something that you want to stick somewhere. In a lantern, in your lantern decor, up on a candlestick, whatever. Glue dots, awesome. And they would fit in a stocking. Some of the things I'm gonna tell you about may not fit in a stocking. You might have to set it next to the stocking. <laughs> okay, glue dots. Uh, next thing I have, okay, the next thing I have on my list are pipe cleaners. Whoop, 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 pipe cleaners. Yes, I have some pipe cleaners. This is what I use to close all my bows. Although, Danielle again, told me about these. And these are like e-boot stem wire floral pieces, dark green. I don't know what gauge it is, five gauge. I don't know what gauge it is. But I haven't, I've yet to use one of these. I keep forgetting I have them. So I will be using these in the future though. And it is just like a, a pliable wire, but something that's not quite as thick as a pipe cleaner. So I've used pipe cleaners forever and ever and ever in a day. And I'm gonna put these in here so I don't forget. Uh, but I'll try to have both things linked in the description. So pipe cleaners or some wire or something to, I mean, you can use pipe cleaners for more than, of course, for more than just closing bows which is what I use them for all the time. But, you know, having a pipe cleaner, you never know. I Next mean, thing are cable ties, you guys. Oh, my word. You can see they're assorted cable ties. I have just gotten a package of these, and I'll link them for a, of a thousand, of a thousand of these black ones, I believe. Or No, it was either white or black. I think, actually, I think they were white. Um, and I, I have gone through a bag of about a thousand, if you can believe that in the last year, you guys, I use cable ties for a ton of crafts, mostly, all, well, everywhere. I just use them everywhere to, uh, hold my, you know how I do my wreaths, my grapevine wreaths and I make the swag off the wreath to hold the entire swag onto the grapevine. I use cable ties to, uh, tie the bow onto the swag, I use cable ties. It These are so much tight, these hold tighter than say a pipe cleaner would. Highly recommend cable ties. I call them cable ties. Sometimes I call them zip ties. You, they are whatever you guys, you know, call them. They are a piece of plastic and you put one end in the, I can't get it back off, one end into the other and then you pull it and they're not coming loose. See that? And you and they hold things like a charm, you guys. I'm telling you. They are the best, the best, the best. Cable ties. Cannot stress enough. Cable ties. Love those. Okay. Okay, the next thing on my list is a glue gun. And Chris just got me this glue gun a couple of Christmases ago. And this is my favorite glue gun that I've ever had in my life. This is not a cheap glue gun. Chris got it for me, as I said, as a Christmas present. It is a Shore Bonder. I will put a link if I can find this in the description and I do think, or in my gift idea box, I do believe I, can, I found this on Amazon. I love this glue gun. Again, it's not one of your cheap glue guns. It is the only glue gun I have though. So, and I use it all the time for every project, you know, that I need a glue gun for. And it might not look wonderful here, but this is what it looks like. It already comes with the stand to hold it up. It's got a nice long heavy duty cord on it. It's got an on off switch here. And then you can, you see this little uh, knob? You can turn the temperature up or down. And I'm telling you, you guys, it is fabulous. This gun, I cannot ask your husbands for it for Christmas. If you're if you're a crafter, I'm telling you, you guys, or ask your wives or your significant other, your partner, whoever, whatever, whoever you have in your life <laughs> who might want to get you a gift that you will use. This is it, a Shore Bonder uh, glue gun. You can tell mine's been well used. You know, Chris picked this out so you can trust his recommendation on this. You guys, it's absolutely wonderful. It comes with an extra nozzle, which I've never used, but I have it if I need it. So, 
and it comes with this case, this lovely case. Let's see if I can hold this up for you. Lovely, heavy duty case. And I've definitely put this away warm before and it's, ouch, I broke my finger. Uh, it's never hurt anything. The handles or the little slidey things slide over and hold it shut. It is wonderful, you guys. I cannot say enough good things about this glue gun. If you really want a good one, get this one. Uh, now I have some glue sticks here. I do not recommend these glue sticks. I don't even know what they are, but I'm gonna try to find some, I think they're uh, Gorilla Glue glue sticks that I've heard are very good. I'm gonna get myself some, and that's what I'm gonna recommend to you guys. Uh, some Gorilla Glue glue sticks. These things don't, I don't know what these are, but, and, and I encourage you to uh, do use a glue stick that has a good recommendation because this, these, we got a bunch of these, but they're, they're really hard for me to work with because they're very stringy, you know, and I've heard that the Gorilla Glue sticks are not, so I will search for those and I'll get them linked if I found them. So there we go. Glue sticks to go with your glue gun. Another tool that I use all the time, I am not even kidding you, every, every day I use these, every day, are my wire cutters. I call them my snippers. These are fabulous, absolutely, and they are not expensive. These are not expensive. I think Chris got me these from, I've got two pairs of them now, from Home Depot, but I believe I did find them on Amazon and I will link them in the idea list if they're not gouging on it. If you don't see something linked in my in that list, that's because I either couldn't find it or because I found it and it was just like, I'm not gonna link that for you to buy and you know to pay an exorbitant amount for it. It's ridiculous. So if it's if I can find it for the price that we paid for these, which is I don't even know, I don't want to say because I'll be wrong. These are wonderful. I've heard some of you have bought them on my recommendation and, and have told me how well they work. Uh, I, I have little hands, you guys. I'm a big lady, but my hands are not huge. And these, I'm able to get my hand all the way around these and really, you know, cut my stems or whatever it is I'm cutting. My cable ties. I could not craft again without these. These are a, a really, really, really nice set of, of, of wire cutters. I call them snippers, but wire cutters. Okay, highly recommend these, highly, highly. Well, I wouldn't be recommending any of this stuff if I didn't highly recommend it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, mat, uh, now, there are all kinds of different mats. I don't think I'm gonna be able to find this in on Amazon to link for you. I will try though. But what I'm talking about is a, a mat from Fiskars. You can get them at Walmart, y'all. This is where I got this. I have a big one. They sell them for smaller. They have, you know, kind of a uh, measure. You can measure your ribbon out if you need to cut ribbon. Uh, it can do it on either side. It's reversible. I have used this so much. It is, but I tell you what, I didn't have this when I first started my YouTube channel. And one of you guys told me, Arlen, why don't you get a mat? I'm like, oh, I don't need it. I don't know. Well, let me tell you something. It, it has saved my island many times. Uh, when I am, although the glue really doesn't hurt my island, but it, the glue picks off of this so easy, you know, and it cleans up so nice. So highly recommend you can measure your ribbon out here. You can measure fabric on this. You can cut fabric. If you're a seamstress, you can cut your fabric on this. I cut my ribbon on this. It's lovely, 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 a mat. And I think that it might be called a quilter's mat. I'm not sure what it's called. I just call it a mat. <laughs> but this is a, a very good something to have. There's that. And then if you don't have a mat, a, a tape measure. For to make those funky bows, you know. Also to measure anything you would want to measure. A good tape measure is a great tool to have. And this thing, I don't even know what, I, I'll find you a tape measure and link it. <laughs> this thing is literally probably 30 years old, y'all. <laughs> but I'll see if I can find you one on Amazon. <laughs> tape measure. I have a few yeah. other things uh, set out here that I didn't have on my, that's nine things that I've told you about there. The other thing I have on there is uh, florist wire. 
So he did take a little And bit. I don't have any here at the house. I gave it to Candace. I sent it home with her one time, and I just realized when I went looking for it that I gave it to her to take home. So I don't have any. Uh, florist wire can be used where you can, might use a cable tie, too. And I tend to go for the cable tie first before I go for the floral wire. If I want to tie, like, let's just say I want to set a tuff of flowers down on a table. Uh, and I just, but I want to, I don't want to just set them there just in a pile, but I want them to be in a little, like, say, bouquet. I'll put a piece of wire around it and just hold it into place. I, I, but I use cable ties for that now, but stuff like that. You can always use floral wire. Uh, let's see. So the other things I wanted to mention are fairy lights. I don't know about y'all, but I love the, to use fairy lights. And I use two different kinds of fairy lights. And you guys might, be, you're aware of one kind I use, but I'm not sure you're aware of the other kind. This is what you are aware of. And what I have always have linked in my uh, descriptions of all my videos. I get these from, they're called Home Story. Uh, they're LED battery string lights. And I've always gotten these on Amazon. And these are what I use. They come with a timer or a remote that has a timer and it what it is it's a little box and it's indoor outdoor this these boxes are waterproof i have them outside in my little lantern all the time and it really does work they really are waterproof it comes with nine different selections of uh the way they blink combination mode in waves sequential slow glow chasing flash slow fade twinkle flash steady on or off these fairy lights come in this box i have you get four sets and four remotes in each box i believe the box is under twenty dollars and these are lovely they have a couple copper wire oops sorry copper wire and you know what i don't know how many uh lights are on the wire it might say when we look it up it doesn't say here on the box i just checked so it takes three double a batteries and then here is the remote and it does have you can see the timer mode on off and then you can pick your you can pick whichever you know of course the numbers on the remote correlate with the numbers on the box and you can make them brighter or dimmer whatever your preference is there at the bottom i love these fairy lights i use them all the time as you guys have seen all the time all the time all the time I love them. I, I go for them all the time. I try, looks like we're getting a delivery. Yep. <laughs> How many of y'all are getting deliveries every day, every day? We are, every single day, it's crazy. Uh, but I go for these fairy lights all the time. There he goes. Thank you. He's probably like, what is that woman in there doing? <laughs> I don't recognize him. We also have extra UPS men, extra FedEx guys and girls and all of that. So, but that's one set of fairy lights that I use. And then here is another type of fairy light that I use. Now this, you can't put on a timer. It, this is just, they're on and they stay on until they burn out. They, they hold a battery that is a 20, 32 so you can replace the batteries in them you can unscrew and replace the batteries but i'm telling you you guys these are so cheap chris had a box of i don't know hundreds of them i will link them and these are lovely in a pinch especially if you said oh man i wish i'd put some fairy lights in there you have a company coming over throw a set of these on them they'll never know you know and they're super pretty but there's no no timer option. They just are steady on. There's no blinking options or in wave options or anything like that. But they do last a good long time. Good, pretty good long time. I love them. Absolutely love them. Little fairy lights. So then let's stay on the light theme here. I like to have extra brown corded white lights. Now these are the kind of white lights we use on our banister. But I will try to link some lights in the Amazon shop. If not, you can check at craftoutlet.com or Factory Direct Craft or Lighting Direct. All of those places usually have these brown corded mini lights. 
the brown cords tend to pair better with our crafting items, you know. But brown corded white mini lights. Brown corded white lights. They come in smaller packages, obviously, than 100. They come in 10, 15, 20, and 35, and 50, I believe. So, brown corded white mini lights. Also, and to... And, oh, I meant to talk about this with the glue stick. Sorry, I mean with the glue gun. Sorry. Uh, I have one of you guys a long time um, send mat, this silicone mat, and it came with all of these little tools, which, you know, are finger covers and little silicone tools to hold things down when you're doing wreaths, especially these come in really handy or when you're working with your glue gun. I know I cannot find this particular set. I've tried and tried and tried. Uh, but I will link something, even if it's mats and then finger covers in that Amazon uh, storefront. The glue just picks right off of this. This will save your countertops or your tables or wherever you're using your glue gun. And it'll save your fingers if you use the finger covers. Or, you know, I'll try to find something for you. At least the finger covers if I can't find anything else. So, highly recommend that. This is what I set out every time I get my glue gun out. My glue gun sits on top of this, so love that. Uh, and the only other thing, a couple things I have left here uh, are batteries, just extra batteries. That's always a great stocking stuffer. Double uh, A batteries, which is what the fairy lights take. Double A batteries, triple A batteries. Other kinds of fairy lights take triple A batteries, and the twenty thirty two batteries. I mean, just extra batteries, which I'll link, you know. And then these are what, uh, these are AG13s. These are what goes in my Lennox, uh, my little Christmas tree and Santa or snowman out there. These go in those. And usually each one takes three. I do not have them on except for when people are here. Honest to Pete, those would cost me an arm and a leg. I don't know how expensive these are. I'll have to, I'll know when I link. But the batteries do not last very long in those, and Chris won't rig those up for me. So, you know, we have a ton of these batteries, but still, I don't turn them on until, you know, uh, I'm getting company. <laughs> and one more thing I have sitting here. I'm looking around here, make sure I don't have anything else. One more thing I have sitting here, and this is kind of a multi-screwdriver, uh, you know. I... <laughs> Sometimes, like say for instance, on the back of here, you can see that they have little screws that you need to unscrew. And I'm like, well, let me get my spiffy diffy screwdriver that pulls out of there. And you know, it comes with all the different screwdriver bits, uh, Phillips head or flat head, you know, or, you know, and it comes, you have three different choices of those. There's one choice there. One's missing, and that one, there's one choice there, and then one more choice there. And they just pull out and slip in, and they're magnetic, you know. I don't know how many times I pull this puppy out, you guys. Chris got it for, I either got it for him or he got it for me for Christmas one year. And... <laughs> I love it. I love this little tool, you know, kind of a multi-screwdriver. Also a multi-tool. If you don't have a multi-tool, that helps too. But anyway, this, whoops, there went that bit. I've got to find that before the vacuum does. I'll get that in a minute. But this just slides right in there. You turn it and it clicks in. Great little tool. Again, a link if I can find. So, in fact, let me add that here. I think I've got everything and I added the other couple of things that I needed to add to my idea list. Uh, so there you go. Those are some of my favorite things and what I really could not do without. And I, you know, I don't do a ton of crafting, but I do wreaths and I do, you know, I do enough crafting, you know? Uh, one of you asked me if I do anything with material and I really don't. I mean, she asked me if I, you know, I, I told her, no, I don't sew anymore. And she then said, oh, well, don't you do any crafts with material? And I really don't, although I would encourage you, if you're watching, honey, I don't remember your name right now, 
to do a search on YouTube. There are many lady crafters out there. Danielle Stacor, who does things with fabric sometimes. Somebody, uh, uh, Julie uh, there at uh, uh, Julie's Pretty and Posh on Instagram. I'll see if I can put a link. I think that's her Instagram name. Let me see here. She was doing some beautiful pumpkins at uh, Thanksgiving or around fall that were really pretty. I was right, Julie's Pretty and Posh. I highly encourage you to go to her her Instagram. She's got a beautiful Instagram page and uh, she's got a ton of followers, you guys, a ton of followers. Julie, I'm so happy for you. You are doing so well, honey. You're doing so well. I'm so happy for you that you're doing such a great job. And she puts up the most beautiful posts, you guys. And if she doesn't know how to do something, she points you in the direction of who does. So I highly encourage you to check out Julie's Pretties and Posh on Instagram. She's awesome. Uh, but anyway, I don't do any much with fabric, to be honest with you. But I do enough other crafting that, you know, all of these tools that I've mentioned really do come in handy and would come in handy for other kinds of crafts too. So, Hope you'll check so out. I encourage you to maybe share this gift idea list with your relatives and your your significant other and your kids and your parents whoever you know so anyway i do have one question that i wanted oh, to one other thing i wanted to say before i go into this question if only uh -huh. if only we as crafters could wrap up some patience and some confidence and the will to try and try again at our crafting you know and at our decorating. If only we could do that, if only we could box it up and say, okay, I just need to open this box and that's gonna give me the confidence I need to try this new craft or to try to decorate this vignette, you know? If only we could do that. Uh, you know, sometimes I am not as confident as I would like to be with myself. I've gained a lot of confidence through the years of trial and error. Uh, but, you know, I still get intimidated, and y'all know I do. So I wish, I just wanted to say that. I wish we could box that up. Okay, I do have one last question here. Uh, she said, this is Melanie Downing. She said, hey, Arlene, can you tell me what products you use to extend your hair washing four or five days? My hair has gotten drier as I've aged and would like to do the same. I could only get to three days before I can't stand it anymore. I am on day three, as a matter of fact, today. Uh, and I use dry shampoo. And this is the type of dry shampoo I use. I can't verbalize it right now because I can't even remember the name of it at the moment. But my kids started me on this dry shampoo years ago. They got it for me in like a travel size to take on one of my cruises with me. And I fell in love with it. All of the scents are lovely. I use, like to use the tropical scent. Uh, it makes me feel like I'm on a beach somewhere, but uh, that's what I use. Usually day two, sometimes day one, if I'm having a really limpy limp hair day, I'll use it on day one before I curl, you know, just right at the crown. Uh, but that's what I use. And that's really the only thing I use to extend, you know, my, uh, my hair life for, you know, so I don't have to wash it every day. I don't wash my hair every day. I wash it literally every fourth or fifth or sometimes sixth day, just depending on, you know, if I want clean hair to go to say to visit somebody and I need to stretch it one more day. I've done that a couple of times, only a couple of times, but probably my hair will go up tomorrow. Usually I, I uh, will put it up. If it's looking kind of raggedy and it's not wanting to hold the curl or anything, well, what curl is going to hold in this weather though for me? <laughs> Some of you probably go frizzy. I go flat, you know, uh, but that's what I use. And I love it. I love it. So, all right, you guys, I've yammered on long enough today, I think. <laughs> Tomorrow, I did want to mention, I will do a haul of, of the things that I got at, uh, in that there. And I'll be telling you about what I'm going to be doing to prepare my house for our Christmas Eve celebration that I'm going to be, that we, Chris and I will be hosting here at the house. And I'll tell you some things that I'm going to be doing. Uh, with that and what we're going to be eating and what I'm going to be doing to the table and the, and the island. So come back for that. I'm not sure if it will be tomorrow. I'm not sure if I can gather everything I need for that. And I'm not quite ready to change all that stuff out yet. 
So I'm not sure if I have, I've got to be honest with you guys. I've got to be honest with you guys. I've got some gift wrapping to do. I've got a couple of gifts that I need to run and buy in person. I am getting to be, it's getting to be really busy for me here. As we're all getting busy, I know. I will try to come back with something. It's probably not going to be every day. It won't be this weekend. I will try my best to come back with something uh, tomorrow and Friday, but I'm, I'm not, I just can't promise you guys. Please don't have your feelings hurt if I can't come back both days. I will try, but I just don't know that I have the time, honestly, to, to video and to, to edit and to get it up. So, but I'll do my best. Just know whenever you see a video of mine pop up, you'll know that I'm doing my very best for you guys. Always, always, always my best. And I never want to disappoint anybody. I never want anybody to feel like I'm, I'm not trying my very best because I am. <laughs> so with all that said, I'm going to hush. We can see the snow is not coming, is not falling in Spotsylvania, Virginia, although it is going to be an ice rink, like I said earlier, out there tonight. It is going to drop like a rock. The temperature is supposed to drop like a rock, like a rock, and it's going to be slick, slick, slick out there. Slick out there. So anyway, for those of you, as I said earlier, for those of you north of me, and are getting hammered with this storm, hunker down, stay safe, stay warm, stay cozy, turn on a Hallmark movie, wrap your gifts, do a little baking, roast some marshmallows, enjoy, enjoy the snow, then get out and, you know, send your grandkids down a hill on a sled, you know, and enjoy it, take it in, enjoy every moment of the snowstorm, but stay safe, drive carefully, stay safe, and I'll be thinking of you guys, I will. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, I'll go into my final words now and say thank you all so much for stopping in here with me today. I hope that I gave you a couple of tips that you can use. I hope all is well with everyone. And for those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around. And I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.